Hello everyone, my name is Nomis, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Picking up where we last left off. Off camera in between episodes, I did a little bit of organizing here. Of these uh, cupboards and crates. So we got all of our crafting materials in this uh, cupboard right now. And I believe we put all the weapons, yeah, all the weapons. Uh, fighting related stuff is in this crate for now. So that's the system we're using. And I'm using this as an overflow for our dry goods. Or our non-perishable non items, I'll say. So, we are, just to refresh everyone, we are at uh, the end of day 24, coming up on one, one month. Still uh, getting closer to that one month. We just upgraded our maintenance of our blade, I believe was the last thing we did. So we got a long way to go to our next skill point. And today... What are we going to do today, guys? Do some more searching of that uh, trailer park, I guess. Equip our axe. Uh, I also, okay, one other thing I did was I took our first aid kit and I filled it with all the, or a lot of the first aid items that we had uh, been carrying just in this uh, uh, bag that we're carrying on our back. So that freed up a bit of weight. And, or actually, I guess it didn't really free up a lot of weight so it's all still here but uh just freed up some room it made our uh, list here a little bit shorter so i might i'm gonna keep these uh, bandages on us and i'm wondering if we should keep this should we try repairing our axe let's try repairing our axe while we're thinking of it so we'll take out the adhesive tape the wood glue and since we've upgraded our maintenance of our axe, uh, of our blade, I should say, we should be able to repair a bit more. Okay, so why can't we... Oh, we need two wood glue. Okay. And adhesive tape, we need four. So let's just pick up a few more items here. I didn't realize it took that much stuff. Oh, we could use a duct tape too. So we'll grab the duct tape. Uh, I guess it doesn't look like we have any more adhesive tape or wood glue. I got one more wood glue. So let's try and repair this axe. So we are about eh, about a third condition right now. So let's repair it with. Let's see here. Potentially repairs 50%, 95% chance of success. Let's do that. There we go. Look at that. I repaired quite a bit. So it's going to be worthwhile just to uh, upgrade our maintenance trait for sure. We are hungry. Hungry and bored. Let's eat our exciting vegetable salad. Uh, yeah, we'll eat the whole thing. We're, we're pretty hungry. Okay. And you know the drill. You know the drill. Let's grab some cabbage. Our freshly picked cabbage. Here we go. Grab one of those. Toss it into our cheese salad. Mmm, fresh cabbage. There we go. Okay. We are good to go here. It is 8.40, or almost 9 o'clock in the morning. I don't think we'll, uh... Not sure if we'll work on any of our defenses here today. Uh, what we want to do is continue wrapping this around at some point, go all the way around the building. I think for right now we're okay though. Um, we'll just, uh, anyone who didn't see the last episode, we harvested our first thing of cabbage and uh, planted some more s seeds around here. <laughs> That sounds painful. And we did get a bit of rain off camera, so refilled our uh, rain collectors, which is good. Uh, so the uh, tomatoes are still coming along. Not quite ready to harvest yet. I don't think anything else is going to be ready to harvest. Everything's still in the young phase. Uh, we just planted these cabbages, or this cabbage. So I'll be coming along. Still, everything is still in the young phase, so... Uh, we're good, and these are all seedlings. So, everything's been watered. 
Should be good to leave it for, I don't know, it might take a couple more days for those young vegetables and fruits to come of uh, harvest time, ready to harvest, but uh, I think we'll, we'll continue searching this trailer park up here. We might even make our way back over to the warehouse on the highway um, to see if we can uh, maybe bring a few more supplies back with us to Cortman's. Also by that warehouse there is, uh, there are a bunch of storage units just uh, below that warehouse that we can check out. So we'll see how this goes and if we have some time, things have been going well, then we'll, we'll head over that way as well. Uh, to do, to do, should we put this? Let's put this stuff in our backpack. We're not going to be using it right now. Uh, the wood glue can go in there. And our scotch tape. There we go. So we got room for lots of stuff to pick up, which is good. Let me check this one. Doesn't look like it. We're trying to get into the habit of leaving doors open. Hmm. Nice. Okay. There's going to be a bunch of people coming now. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, there they go. Well, that's actually, uh, will work in our favor. Should clear out some of these zombies from this area. And allow us to search in peace. Okay, there is someone in here. Okay. Let's see if we can open one of these windows and maybe call them out. Let's check these. It's our empty bag. Garbage bag we'll take. Right on. Radish seeds. So much garbage on the ground. A plank, don't need that. Letter we'll take. An empty bottle. Eh, sure, we'll take them. I'm sure we can find a use for them. Well, that alarm didn't last for very long. Alright, this one's open. Jeez. Right, let's close that up again so we know we still have to search that. It's gonna draw everyone over here now. Alright, she's trying to get out. Let's open the window for her. And we might as well take care of these zombies as they come. Doesn't get too out of hand. Alright, so this is the edge of the trailer park. Just make sure we're not going to get snuck up on. Looks like we're okay. Oh. oh there is one. How we miss that guy? How did we not see him? He must have been just coming around the trailer. Alright, some more antidepressants. Let's hop in here. Close that window. Right, some tomatoes. We can put that into our salad. Our cabbage salad. There we go. Might as well. Some more dry goods. Nails. We should take a count of how many nails we've collected so far once we get back. I'm sure we still have a few boxes left. Oh, okay. There was more in there than I anticipated. I was hoping it was just the one. Got out of there quick. You gonna come out, sir? Hello? Would you hop out the back window, maybe? 
that I broke. Hey. I don't think I killed you, did I? No, you're over there. Alright, we're starting to freak out a little bit. Let's take uh, our beta blockers. We might want to start kind of uh, smoking cigarettes and kind of interchanging smoking cigarettes and beta blockers just so we don't burn through all our beta blockers. So we're going through them pretty quick. Right, we'll take the presents, the towel, the tweezers. We went through a kind of a dry spell of checking houses and not really having to worry about zombies being inside and all of a sudden this last couple episodes it's become more of an issue. So we'll stay on our toes. Can we check this one? Yeah, it's doors been knocked off. Right, there's a couple guys up here. Uh, we could also switch over to a bat for a bit maybe. Where'd you go in there? Okay, come out here. We do have a couple of extra axes back at base. But we don't want to uh, use them all up too quickly, I guess. So it might be a good idea to alternate between the uh, a baseball bat and uh, different blades. We have come across several uh, crowbars, which I guess we could also try and use. Although, if I remember correctly, they take quite a bit more energy to use. Okay, some soda, corn, ice cream. Leave the meat patty there since it's already rotten. That was loud. To grab that. That cotton ball. Yeah, it sure was like a cheat. I don't know if we can use these mirrors for anything. Let's try and knock off these last few trailers. Oh, there is one person inside, is she? She's inside. Do the old smash the door in their face. That's always fun. Pearl necklace. What if I can wear that? No. <laughs> Alright, you got the doorknob. Vinegar. Yeah, we'll take that. Nails we'll take. And pink, which we'll take. Okay. Who is moaning there? Come out here. Is she in this one? Definitely heard a groan there. Maybe she's in one of these other rooms. Gotta be quick and careful. We don't get snuck up on. Oh, there we go. That's all really good stuff. Wire, yeah. Take it all. Still out of power. More disinfectant. Can I grab the uh, bleach by accident there? Let's close that. So we can loot in peace. Fishing. Fishing. We already have that one. Trapping for intermediates. I think we already have that. I don't even know how to trap, to be honest. Not something I've ever done or really looked into, but I know you can. 
Where are you? Come out here. They're in this trailer. There they are. Alright. Come on out. Come on out. Sounds like there's still one more in there. Hear some groans still. Search this stuff and get out of here. Maybe she's in the bathroom. Uh, rotten food. She must be in here. Let's take a look around the back. In the window. Uh, there you are. Come on out here. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, whatever. Stay in there. Alright, I think we'll just leave those all those people alone. We have a bit of a picnic area up here. Mm, I don't know if it's worth it to check out. We'll leave that uh, garbage can there. Should just be these three trailers left, is that right? Does that sound right? Wanna get dried off too. Stay out of the rain for a bit. Tea, coffee, chocolates. We're finding lots of food here, that's good. Food and drinks. Oh, look at all this. Alright, we'll toss that into our salad. Grab the rest of this food. Matches. Yeah, sure, we'll take the kettle. I'm not too worried about grabbing water containers right now since we have our. We can make our uh, rain collectors. You're stuck behind the TV, hey? mean to break that. Okay, let's get out of here. Ah, leave that open. Uh, we'll check these. We're kind of running out of space to carry stuff. We'll try and check these last two. So at least we'll know if there's useful items to come pick up. We can fit a few more things on us, I guess. Well, we will take the 9 mil rounds. Okay, I'm not going to worry about the water bottle. Don't care. Garbage bag, coffee, sure. We should try making coffee and tea. Chocolate. It's our weight. Okay, we are overweight now. Oh! <laughs> oh god. Oh dear, alright. We got did we get scratched? No, we're fine. Wow. Even without the lucky perk, we're uh we've been quite lucky. I'd say. Sheets, sheets, okay. That one's done. I've been a bit cavalier these last few episodes. I'm thoroughly checking these places before we go in. But who doesn't enjoy a good jump scare every once in a while? Keep us on our toes. Alright, it stopped raining. That's good. Close that. 
Just a bath towel. So we know there are some bath towels left in these trailers if we need them. We need to come back later. Red bell pepper. Might as well just uh, finish up looting these. Even though we're a bit overweight, I think we'll be fine. Okay, that's it. The trailer park has been searched. There's still... There's still more over here? Oh. It's bigger than I thought. Okay. Well. I don't think we have time to... Time or the space to finish checking this. We've checked everything on this side of the road at least. So we're gonna head back to Cortman's, drop this stuff off. And we'll either come back up here and search everything left of the road, or we'll head over to the other warehouse and uh, make a supply run back down to Cortman's. Okay, we're getting a little bit hungry. I'm gonna throw one of these peppers in our salad. So what all do we have in here? Where is it? We've got cheese, tomatoes, cabbage. Put in some, put in some bell peppers. There we go. And that's a hearty, hearty salad. Rotten peas. Oh, we don't want those. Drop that. Eat an orange for a late lunch. And continue on our way. So I want to give a shout out to everyone who's been uh, enjoying this series so far. It's nice to see uh, everyone watching and leaving comments. And as always, keep those comments coming with suggestions we should be doing the next and the upcoming episodes. We've uh, knocked off a good chunk of uh, the area in Muldra. Uh, maybe we'll, we'll take a look at the map next episode and kind of plan out what is left to look at here. I know there's still all those businesses on the highway to take a look at. And a couple other residential neighborhoods. So maybe we'll be able to get all that done before the snow flies. We're sitting at October 18. So I'm not sure what time uh, time of year it's going to start snowing down here in Kentucky. But we should have enough time before winter comes in full force. Get everything searched in Muldra. Maybe we can even stick to the original plan and head up to uh, West Point before winter fully sets in. Okay, so we'll drop off our perishables or non perishables. So, cereal, chips, chocolate, coffee. What else we have here? Empty bottle. Milk. And we'll put the soda in there. Wine. TV dinners. Did we put the vinegar in our salad? I wonder. And yeah, I can keep the rest of the stuff in the in the fridge. Oh, those water bottles we'll put uh, on the tea bag. Missed that. Pepper, missed that. Yeah, I did miss a few things. No surprise there. Ice cream. Corn dog, corn, cheese. Let's unpack these carrots. We can put them in salads. Okay. 
drop off some of these medical supplies and towels. We don't need to be carrying. We got lots of towels in our uh, backpack. Matches, mirror, sheets, socks, tissue. Put that away. All right, we'll keep that in our back. Oh, okay, our backpack's full. Never mind. Trapping book, newspapers, magazine. Okay. And there's all our crafting materials and miscellaneous items. All go in there. The wire. Some seeds, peppers, painkillers. Okay, we can put the painkillers away. Let's fill up this kettle and this bottle. Let's see if we how much water we still have. Yeah, it's still got water. So full kettle. Make another salad, get that ready. Oh, double bell pepper. And to add the carrots. Chips, chopped coffee. Okay, there's still some things in our main inventory that we missed. Where, is these, where are these bottles? Extra bottles of water. Yeah, we got a bunch of bottles in here. All right, bear with me, guys. Almost got everything sorted out here. Just about. And then we'll, I think we'll head over to uh, the highway. Tuna. Yeah, I don't think we can put the vinegar in. Okay, a couple more things for the fridge. Uh, we'll keep the rest of this on us. Let's take. Nah, we'll, we're fine, I think. Mm, more rain. So, just a few more medical supplies. Oh, these of ammunition we can put away. Okay. Let's put away these last few medical supplies. And we will be out of here. Uh, let me know if you guys just want me to do all this kind of organization stuff off, off camera. So I realize it does eat up a bit of time, but I also realize that some people, or a lot of people, just want to see the whole game, so. My computer is apparently thinking <laughs> as we play here. Okay, let's, oh, we should, we should rest. We should really rest before we head out, because we're exhausted. I think we're doing a pretty good job of keeping an eye on that. Every once in a while I do forget, but for the most part I think we're staying rested as much as we can. Well, let's see, it's 8 o'clock. Is it still fairly light out? I think there's enough time to run up to the warehouse. I think... So we might not make it back this episode, but uh, or like back to Corman's, but we'll, we'll get up the warehouse at least. Fill up our bags. There's a few things I didn't drop off, but that's fine. Oh, 
Alright, we got a few clumps of zombies here. Let's see if we can just run by everyone. Yeah, look at these. Ah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, if this is a good idea. Wow, there's a lot of them up here. This might not be a good idea. I don't know, can we get around them, you think? I think we can. I believe in Wayne's cardio. I think he can do it. Looks like he's done it. I'm hoping this is a, a direct route. There's all these houses we still have to check. So we should still be able to find quite a bit more food for us. Once uh, these other crops are ready to harvest, we'll be, we'll be rolling in food. The only problem with the, the crops is that they won't last very long once the electricity goes out. Once we don't have a fridge. I think we go this way or go up one more? Might have to go up to one more intersection. Might be this one. Oh, let's cut across. Don't get stuck in the trees. Yeah, there's a lot of houses still left to check. Making our way to the warehouse. Getting tired. Getting a little panicked. And we'll take a pill. We'll get the, the cigarettes ready for next time. Okay, so that should be the highway over there. Right, let's try to walk here so we don't attract all these zombies. Hopefully. Oh, we got a lot of them chasing us though. Here's the, uh, the pancake house, I think that is. There. Okay, laundromat there, buffet. Pretty close. Should just be up here. Yeah, here's the storage units. I'm just gonna casually saunter by. And be on our way. Okay. So those trees should break up their line of sight. Ah, we made it. Let's eat one of our salads. As a in celebration, uh, we'll eat half of it. Okay, let's uh, decide what we're going to bring back with us. Uh, we will take the shotgun shells. I think that's important. We're going to put them into some boxes and we'll put these in our bag. We will take. Um, well, we can leave the nails here. Not important. We'll take the duct tape with us. We'll take garbage bag. We will take the rope. So we're probably going to start to need... Oh, we're going to take a watering can. For sure. Uh, but the rope and the flashlights we're going to use to probably set up a couple of makeshift um, street lamps. 
So we're ready when the power does go out. I think those peas are rotten. I think we'll leave all this here. So we have some food up here that we can always come back to. And yeah, we searched through all this stuff, so. So take a quick look upstairs. So I think we put some stuff on these shelves. Did we are in these cabinets? Maybe not. Oh yeah. Medical stuff. Alright. So I think we'll just take this stuff back with us. Unless there's anything else you guys can think that we should bring back with us. And I think we'll end it here, guys. So thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed. As always, leave those comments below, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, I will talk to you all later.